everyone, welcome back. We're in another week of our Wildcat workouts, um, working out virtually in the comfort of your own home. Today, I'm actually at my own home. The fitness center has become very loud recently. Um, we are making lots of progress. I'm excited um, to go up on a quiet day and, and film another uh, video up there for you all to be able to see that progress. Also remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, but today, I'm working out here at my house so my dog Haley may pop in from time to time. We have a wonderful loop here. Um, so it's our cardio station. So all you need today is a, a loop, an area, a, a space to travel and do your, your three minutes of cardio. Um, if you want to increase or decrease that amount of time, that's fine. But I'm going to ask you throughout the video like we've been doing the last two weeks to pause, go hit a few minutes of straight cardio, jog, walk, bike whatever else you may have at your house. If you want to row, if you have a rower, um, if you have anything like that, any, any cardio machine, just hop on that for a couple minutes. I'm recommending three minutes today. Um, so our lap is about a third of a mile. It should be about perfect. It'll take me about three or four minutes. So I will pause while I go do that with Haley and then we'll come back and we'll work on our body weight cardio movements today um, once we get back each round. We'll go ahead and get started with a few warm-up movements. We'll start in that straddle stance, feet are wide, toes pointing out. We're just going to forward fold right into the middle, hanging out, relaxing the head and neck. Crown of the head will fall towards the ground. Let's rotate over towards that right foot. Again, just hanging out, grabbing the ankle, calf, whatever you can reach. I'm just trying to relax in the low back here and we'll rotate over to the left ankle same thing just relaxing trying to keep the legs mostly straight back to the center let's slowly roll all the way up to standing bring that left arm across your body hug it into your chest let's move that palm down and away and up and away super slowly with me down and up you want to feel motion right here if you're holding that shoulder you should feel your muscles moving in that external and internal rotation. Good, same arm right back behind us, tricep extension, reach for the back of your neck, gently pull on that elbow if you'd like, and if you wanna add that lean, feel free. Big long line from your elbow all the way to your hip. Good, big breaths. Excellent, relax out of that side, right arm across your, your body, palms down and up down and up. Beautiful, beautiful. Take that same arm back behind us, hand to the middle, middle of the neck. And again, if you want to add that lean, gently pull it on that elbow. Excellent. Let's hit those legs a little bit more. Let's grab that opposite leg behind us. Feel free to use a wall, a chair, anything that you have handy if you need to. Keep those knees close together. We're just holding, trying to flex right here. If you need to push that foot away and relax, those little pulses that we do from time to time, go ahead. Push away and relax. Excellent. Same foot right out in front of you. Heel down, toes up. And let's windshield wiper those toes today. Get that ankle warmed up. We will be jumping and hopping and doing all sorts of crazy stuff today in the cardio workouts. We want our ankles to be warm. Okay, geez. <laughs> Excellent. Let's take that other leg back behind us. Same thing if you want to. You're welcome to add those pulses. Pushing away and relax. Push the heel away from your booty and relax. Knees still close together. Last pulse. Excellent. Let's go ahead and bring that foot right out in front of us. Heel down, toes up. And if you want to, windshield wiper those toes. Move that ankle around. Beautiful. Let's get some of those openings of the gate. Switching uh, legs. So we'll do one side, switch to the other. Opening. Coming up through the center, opening out to the side. Good. Really try to get it nice and high. You want to go more slowly, that's fine. We want to feel good, full range of motion. One more each side. Beautiful. Let's go to the closing of the gate. Open to the side. Bring it together in the front. Good, close it out in the front. Ooh, balance. Wake up, balance. Be 
beautiful beautiful all right shake out those legs let's get some arm circles going nice medium sized arm circles and backwards all right let's hit some super tiny forward circles and super tiny backward circles good last one here Clasp those hands back behind you. Open up that chest. If it feels comfortable, you can go ahead and deep dive forward. Arms come up, hands are up in the air. Legs are mostly straight. Good big breaths. And we'll stand all the way up and release those hands. Excellent. Again, you really don't need any um, equipment today. A mat may be handy. I'll probably just lie in the grass, but a mat might be helpful. But no weights today. It's all going to be quick body weight workouts um, and movements. It's going to be very exhausting. You'll need a trailer space that you know will take about three minutes. Or if you have a piece of cardio um, equipment at home, you're welcome to use that. So pause the video if you need to grab water and get that nearby. Otherwise, we'll roll right into the first section. All right, I'm here to explain the first section of our cardio stations workout today. Again, you'll need a route or space. About three minutes today should be sufficient, give you a good hour long workout. So three minutes of cardio. When you come back, we're gonna hit two rounds of the same movements. The first movement is gonna be a cross jack, kind of like a jumping jack. Arms open up, feet open up, crisscross the arms in the front. Hopping with that or stepping, just like we do when we're all together, whichever version you prefer. The next movement is going to be a high knee, high knee, pigeon, pigeon. So high, high, tap, tap in that pigeon position. So high, high, tap, tap. You're welcome to do that quickly if you can. Aiming for that angle, but it's high, high, tap, tap. So the knee comes up, up, out, out. The next movements are going to be single sided. It's going to be a reverse lunge straight into a high knee, working that balance, crunching that knee up in front. You are welcome to do not a full lunge, just reach back and lift the knee up, reach back, lift the knee up. If you'd like a chair nearby, feel free to use that. Um, if you just wanna bring your knee up a bit, working that balance, that's fine. Doesn't need to come super high if you're not comfortable doing that. So we'll go 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. All of these movements are 30 seconds each with a 15 second rest in between each one. So you get a really brief break, but basically once we come back from that cardio moment, it's gonna be six minutes of movement. All right, so have your water nearby in case you need it. Um, go pause this video please and hit your three minutes cardio, then we'll meet back here for the body weight movements. Ooh, all right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna hit our first segment, it's 30 seconds. It's gonna be those cross jacks. We start in three, two, and one opening and crossing the arms out in front i'm switching right hand on top left hand on top so on and so forth you can always sit switch to stepping not stomping i won't feel good stepping really try to reach those arms back open and cross open and cross good we have less than 10 seconds left keep moving short rest three two and one, 15 seconds, catch that breath, then we go to the high, high, out, out, okay? We'll start that in about eight seconds. Haley's found a stick, so she's finally being good. Three, two, and one, slow-mo first, high, high, knee out, knee out, good. If you feel comfortable, speed it up some. Whatever you feel good for. 10, 12 seconds. This one takes a focus. Keep moving those feet nice and quick. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Definitely messed up a few of those. Good big breath here. 10 more seconds of rest. Then we go with the lunge into the high knee. I'm gonna start with my right leg in three, two and one reaching back as much of a lunge as you want knee comes up nice and high keep moving doesn't have to be in super speed don't want to rest during this working portion
almost there now, guys. Come on. Five, three, two, and one. We'll hit the other leg in 15 seconds. You're doing great so far. Keep it up. Whew, these are exhausting. That's the point, though. We'll start in about five seconds. Left leg. Three, two, reverse lunge into that high knee. Come on. We're gonna hit all those movements one more time, but we get our rest in just a few seconds here. Last few of these five. Three, two, and rest. Same movements, back to the cross jacks, like a jumping jack. <laughs> we'll start those cross jacks in five, three, two, and one. Open, cross. Again, stepping if you prefer the step. Just keep moving, nice and quick. Ten. Three, two, and one. Quick little rest. Tiny, tiny, out, out. That's next in ten seconds. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Five, three, two, one. Quick as you can. High, high, top, top. High, high. Fast feet on this one, not like the lunge. We want it to move fast. Keep going. Almost there. Five, three, two, and rest. We'll hit the lunges. I'm gonna start on the right leg again. Eight seconds, we'll get back to it. Five with the lunge to the high knee, working that balance, two and one. Back and up. Almost there now, come on. Last few, five, three, two, and rest. Ooh, those are killer. Again, as far as you wanna go with that one. We'll start in 10 seconds. Then we'll grab some water after this, I promise. We're almost there. Last one, four, three, two, and one. Reaching back, this is our left leg reaching back. Then knee comes up and crunches. Crunch. Keep going, come on. Water's coming. Start. We'll finish in five, three, two, and one. Good big rest. Take a little pause if you need to, grab your water. Take a few sips. We'll meet back here for our next section, all right? All right, everybody, welcome back. You'll notice I did grow my mat. You'll probably want somewhere that you can get down and up uh, in a few minutes. So if you don't have a chair, a mat, a rug, whatever you may have, um, wherever you're working out, but if you're outdoors and the grass is a little damp, like it still is here for me this morning or this afternoon, uh, go ahead and grab a mat um, so that you can sit down on that. Otherwise, once again, no equipment. Three minutes of cardio, then four movements, 30 seconds each with a little 15 second rest in between. The first one is gonna be a squat with a heel tap. So you're reaching those hips back, going to the bottom of your squat, tapping the heels together, right back out to your squat stance. Down, good. Doesn't have to be hard. Don't feel like you need to like bang your heels together, just a tap. If that jump doesn't feel good on your knees, don't do it. Go into your squat, tap and then do the other direction. So just switching which foot moves, 
That way you're bringing the heels together, working the abductors, and then coming back out into that squat stance. Next movement is gonna be a down up. Plenty of ways you can do this. Some of you prefer the burpee at this point. You're good at it. Step or hop those feet back, step or hop the feet back together, stand all the way up at the top. So you're welcome to do a burpee. Just getting into that plank or do that down up. All the way down, feet pop up, stand all the way up nice and tall, however you see fit. No form expectation there. You're getting down, you're coming to your knees, you're rolling up, however you can get up, stand all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. I'll call this one out. You're gonna wanna end down. Our next movement is going to be a plank jack. You can do this in your mat. If you'd rather, I'll show you another modification in a moment. This will be a plank jack. We've done these before. You're in a plank. You step or you hop those feet out and together. Almost like your feet are doing jumping jacks, but your upper body's holding a plank. These are easy to do on your forearms. If that feels better, stepping or jumping. And then the other thing you can do if that's challenging for that upper body, take that part out of the equation, use a chair or a wall, same thing. You're leaning onto that chair wall bench, hop, hop. Um, the last one, we're gonna do Pilates scissors. So again, we'll be down on the mat for that last one. You'll bring one leg up, holding it back behind that knee, Good little pull, and then we'll switch to the other side. Switch and switch. It is a scissor kick where you're catching that leg. It's gonna force you into a bit of a crunch. So pull that leg in, pull the other leg in. One leg does not have to go all the way down first. They can cross in the middle for scissor, scissor. <sighs> Squats with the heel tap, plank, uh, down ups, plank jacks, and then the scissors. So we will end down here, then we have to get back up. There is some getting up and down here. Um, so if you need to modify anything, feel free. Like I said, the planks can be done on the wall or a chair. The down ups you can do down on a chair. Honestly, the scissor kicks you can do sitting upright as well. Um, if you sit in a chair, one leg's down, just lift one, switch. I'm not seated, so it's a little bit weirder. Just pull that leg up as high as you can while you're seated and let the other one switch with it. So there are plenty of options there um, if you need to. So take a quick pause, make sure that you have the things that you need. Go hit your three minutes of cardio. And when you're ready for those movements, after your three minutes of cardio, come on back here and we'll start those movements. All right, everybody, welcome back from your cardio. We're gonna start in about 10 seconds with those squats with the heel tap. Make sure each time that you reset those feet in the squat stance. Three, two, and one, hips push back, tap the heels. And again, if you're stepping, step. We're coming all the way up and tapping the heels. Down and up, good job. If you're able to, get a little hop in there, tap the heels. I always do it way too hard, don't hit too hard. <laughs> there we go. Nice gentle taps, eight seconds. Five, three, two, Quick little rest here for about 15 seconds. Then we're doing the dreadful, I mean wonderful, down ups. We'll start those in 10. You're welcome to do a burpee if you prefer. I know there aren't many people out there who prefer. Leave a comment below if you prefer burpees. Two and one. Down, feet come up. Stand up however you see fit. Good, stand up nice and tall. Almost there now. Five, three, two, and one. We have to be down on the mat anyways. Or you can use a wall or chair. Remember, plank jacks are next. If you don't wanna hop or move those feet, hold a plank for 30 seconds. That's gonna be a great, great rendition of this movement if that's what you prefer. Two, and one. If you can, we're stepping or hopping the feet in and out, in and out. Good, make sure that booty isn't too high. Nice straight line, like we're in a good solid plank.
almost there. Five, three, two, and one. Excellent, excellent. Pilates scissor kicks are next. Again, we are gonna grab the back of that leg and pull it in, starting in three, two, and one. If getting down and up from the ground is a pain, remember, this can be done from a chair if you need to. No worries. Try to keep those legs fairly straight. I can feel mine bending, so I'm trying to grab on either side of the knee and straighten. Neck nice and relaxed. We have five, three, two, and rest. Excellent, we have 15 seconds to get up. We're going back to those squats with the heel taps. <sighs> My dog thinks I'm crazy. We're starting in five. Haley, come. Three, two, and one. Squats with that little hop with the heel tap. You can step or you can hop. Good job, good job. Feet coming together every time. Haley, come. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Squat is just as low as you can. Hopping or stepping. It's up to you. We have three, two, and one. Good job, good job. If you're not sweating, you're doing something wrong. Down ups are next. I was afraid it was gonna be too cold today, but no, it's not. Five, three, two, and one. All the way down, all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Fall towards the ground safely, and then stand yourself all the way up. Nice and tall, nice and strong. 10 seconds, remember we can finish this one down in the mat. For the plank jacks next, five, three, two, and one. Down in the mat for those plank jacks. We only have about a minute and a half left here. Let's finish these two movements out. Starting in five, three, two, and one. You're holding a plank, you're stepping your feet out, or you're hopping. Any way you, you decide to do this, we have about 20 more seconds. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Five, stay strong. Three, two, and one. Yeah, the grass is definitely wet here. All right, scissor kicks are next. Pilates scissor kick. We're pulling that knee, that leg into our chest, towards it, not into. Three, two, and one. One leg at a time up. Switching in the middle. Little crunch here. Pull on that leg. Nice, gentle, brief pause at the top of each. We're halfway through this set. Come on, or this section. Almost there, almost there. Five, three, two, and one. Great work, y'all. We're gonna take a nice little rest here. Pause, get some water, please, please. And then when you're ready to hear the next four movements, before you hit your cardio, come listen to the four movements. Then we'll break and pause for the cardio and we'll hit the next section. We're halfway through, you're doing great. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed some rest and definitely grab some water. Uh, before you hit your next section of cardio for three minutes, I'm gonna show you the four movements we're doing this time. First one's gonna be a wide butt kick. So the feet are out wide, maybe not sumo stance wide or like the our stretch at the beginning of this, but outside the hips for sure, outside of our normal squat stance, kicking the heel up towards the booty. Butt kicks wide. Next one's gonna be a toe touch with a twist show up from the side because I want you to see how straight my legs are gonna stay. I'm not squatting. Just a little break in the knee, tap towards the toes, shins, wherever you feel is the most comfortable for you but still feels like work. It's a toe tap with a little twist. You are welcome to toe tap 
and then step for the twist. But the idea is that the shoulders are going to stay square, the hips are going to turn, and then you bounce back to the front. Okay, so a deadlift with a little twist. Next one's a soldier kick, hitting those hamstrings once again. Soldier kicking out, staying nice and upright. This one's not so much a crunch. We don't want to round the shoulders. Keep the shoulders rolled back. I know you're getting tired. I'll try to remind you of that. Stay up nice and tall on those. The last one, you're welcome to use that chair, that bench, whatever you have. I don't have one out here in the middle of my yard. So I'm gonna show it on the mat. That's an option as well. Push up with a rotation. Um, so what you can do, again, this would be the chair. I'm gonna do a push up and then I'm gonna rotate into a side plank, come back to the center, push up and rotate. That's less cardio, a little bit more strength here. It's okay if you only get a couple. If you push that up onto a wall, it will be a lot less intense on the shoulders. So if you have any wrist shoulder issues, if that does not feel good, please use a wall. I should have parked my car in the driveway. Use that. Uh, use anything that's nice and sturdy that you can hit that push up motion and then twist out, opening up the shoulders and then back to the center, switching sides each time after each push up. So those are our four movements, the wide butt kicks, the deadlift with a twist, a lower body twist, soldier kicks, and then that push up into a plank rotation. Rotate, push up, and rotate. Again, those will probably get exhausting. Find a good, slow, solid pace you can move through. 30 seconds of each, 15 seconds of rest in between. We're gonna do two rounds once again. We have three minutes of cardio first, so go ahead and pause the video and then press play when you get back here. All right, welcome back everybody. Haley found a huge stick on her walk, um, so she'll be busy with that. We're about to start in about six seconds with those butt kicks nice and wide. Three, two, and one. I told you, maniac. Good, really try to point the toes up behind you as much as you can. Moving those feet nice and quickly. You're doing great, keep it up. We're almost there now. 10 seconds. Next, we're gonna be the deadlifts with a little twist. We'll start while we'll rest in three, two, and one. Little rest. Get those feet set with the toes out in front, maybe a little bit more narrow than your squat stance. So toes are pointing straight forward. We start in five seconds with that deadlift or toe touch. We're reaching down at the toes with straight legs, all the way down, let's go. And then when you come up, we're either stepping or jumping to twist the lower body. Upper body is staying just as it is. Touch and twist. You're doing great, guys. Come on. Three, two, and rest. Excellent. Soldier kicks will be next. <sighs> we'll start in about five, three, two, and one. Slightly slower round this time. So enjoy that good big breath that you're able to take. Last round, we're going to crunch that core. Keep going. Again, shoulders stay back. Don't reach out too far for that toe. Stay upright. It's okay if you don't tap that toe. Just reaching towards the outside edge. Two and one. Rest. Next one's going to be down on the mat or on a wall. We're doing that push up into a plank rotation, opening up the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades. <clears throat> we'll start that in five, three, two, and one. Push up into that plank rotation. Good. Again, take your time. Find a good slow, steady pace you can move. Almost there now. You're doing great. Five, three, two, and one. 
Excellent, excellent. We'll go back to those butt kicks in about 10 seconds. One more set with the same movements. Our last big section, we're only doing one round of, so you can have that to look forward to. Two and one. Wide butt kicks. Let's go. Nice, quick feet. Get that heart rate up a little bit here. Good. Toes up towards the sky. Ten seconds. You're doing great, guys. Keep it up. Come on. You got this. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Next is going to be that deadlift with a twist. Stepping or hopping. We'll start that in about five seconds. Three, two, and one. Tap those toes if you can reach them. And then twist with the shoulder staying square. Mostly straight legs. Reach the hips back and forth. Keep going. Five more seconds. Quick little hops or steps. Three, two, and one. Little rest, then we'll hit those soldier kicks. Hamstrings again, back of the legs. We'll start this in about eight seconds. You're doing great, guys. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Soldier kicks. Good work, good work. Nice straight leg, as high as you can bring it without bending it. If you feel like it's got a lot of bend in it, don't go so high. Again, it's not necessary to touch the toes. We're just reaching that toe up trying to bring it up to our hand three two and one tough strength movement again find your wall chair mat wherever you are comfortable doing this move push up with a plank rotation we start in about five seconds i'll have a flat spot out here three two and one push up elbows nice and close good rotation Work that balance. Take your time. Almost there now. Last couple. Eight. Three, two, and one. Excellent work here. Go ahead and grab some water. Pause the video. Take as much of a rest as you need to. Roll out those shoulders a couple good times. And then we'll hit our last section in a few minutes. And when you're ready, just press play again. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm here to explain the final section. Um, we are gonna hit our three minutes cardio and then we're only doing one round and it's only three different movements. So all the movements are down on the mat. So whether you've used the mat yet today or not, it doesn't matter. We're all coming down to the mat for these last three. The first movement is gonna be a hollow rock. You can do these with one leg bent and one leg straight and you can switch first round you do it that or i'm sorry we're only doing one round half of it you'll do it with one leg then you can swap or you can have both legs out basically what we're doing arms come up overhead you're creating a bowl shape with your body you're pushing that belly button in towards the ground picking the feet and the shoulders up ever so slightly we're just going to try to rock back and forth back and forth so we'll do that hollow rock and again you can pull one foot in you're not coming all the way up to seated every time i just did that to finish we're not rolling all the way up the seat at each time. So don't worry about that. Just those hollow rocks, creating that C shape and rocking back and forth. Sorry, my timer's being pickle. Okay, the next move that we're gonna do, again on our back, these are all on our backs today. You can be on elbows, you can have hands back behind you, but you can lay all the way down. We're hitting single leg tuck crunches. Unlike the scissor kicks earlier, your feet do both need to meet before you pull the other leg in. So we wanna fully shift that weight back to a normal straight position, then pull the other leg in. Only one knee is bent at a time, not a bicycle kick. The last move is just gonna be a hold. We're gonna come into a boat pose. You are welcome to let the heels hover, but we wanna to try to get them up off the mat just barely. Shoulders back, nice long spine, 
We're just holding, we're sitting on our booty, picking up those heels and keeping that core engaged. You'll feel it, it does it by itself when you try to balance up like that. So we're gonna do our three minutes of cardio, then we'll come down for hollow rocks, single leg tuck crunches with our legs, and then the boat pose hold just one round here. So you come back, we have like three minutes and then we're done, we're so close. And we'll stretch down on the mat, okay? Let's go hit three minutes cardio, take a little pause, press play once you get back. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna be down in the mat, let's find that space. Hollow rocks will start in about three seconds. Two, and one. Pick your feet and shoulders barely up off the mat and just try to rock. It's not that easy, don't worry about it. If you wanna tuck a leg, sometimes that helps people to be able to rock. Again, we don't need to sit up all the way. We're just rocking. You can also hold. You're gonna feel a great midline workout here. So we've got about eight more seconds. We don't want the feet to come way up. So don't over exaggerate that into a sit up. It's a very subtle rock and rest. Oh yeah, those are really tough. They're weird to do too. So don't let it stress you out. In about five seconds, we're doing single leg tuck crunches. You can have your hands behind you, be on your elbows or lay all the way back. We're tucking one knee at a time. Let's go. Great work here. Keep bringing that knee all the way in. Straighten both legs before you try to pull the other knee in. Almost there. 10. Five. You see why we only did one round of this? Three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna go into that boat pose hold again. Come here. Don't chase things. We'll start in five seconds, just holding. Again, those heels can be down, but with the shoulders back. Three, two, and one. If you can, bring the feet up. If you need those heels down, that's totally fine. You can balance up, balance up. If you want to challenge, straighten the legs. Bring the arms up overhead. Find something to challenge you. You can hold those legs up if you want. Just make sure that your back is nice and straight. Think long spine. Hold for 10 more seconds. Good big breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Three, two, and one. Great work, everybody. We're gonna roll straight over onto our bellies for our um, stretching. We'll stretch with just, for just a couple minutes here. I'm gonna turn mine around where my feet have been. We're gonna start on our bellies, just sitting in that sphinx position. So the forearms are down on the mat stretching that low back if you prefer cobra feel free to press up into cobra whatever feels good for you right now but we're still holding about 10 more seconds beautiful beautiful let's split those knees a bit we're going to push straight back into child's pose hands are going to come out in front of us long arms reaching out in front of you hips are back towards the heels Relax right here for a couple breaths. Beautiful. Let's come up through all fours into that lunge position, bringing one foot forward, staying up nice and tall. Just push those hips forward and down for about 10 seconds here. Good big breaths. Try to get that breath, that breathing back to normal. Good. If you're comfortable with it, we're going to straighten that front leg. Remember, these can always be done too on a bench or a chair. If you still have that chair nearby, you are welcome to put that front foot up on that. Straightening that leg, lean into it as much or as little as you need to. Some people like to pull back physically their toes. Some people like to just have a hand on either side. Some people just feel like their hamstrings are on fire staying upright. So wherever you feel a good stretch, about five more seconds. job good job let's switch that other leg in front staying up nice and tall push those hips forward and down good big breaths that was a tough workout that was super hard these cardio stations are killer you guys are doing so great i love hearing from you um, i hope that you are enjoying being able to work out at home let's straighten that front leg i certainly miss seeing you all in the fitness center and having a quiet space to work and work out but they're making tremendous progress. So I will keep updating, like I said, 
follow us on that social media for sure on Facebook and Instagram. Um, or if you have any questions or just want an update, um, let me know. Just drop me a line. But great work today. You guys did super awesome. Drink extra water um, and don't run anymore today. We've done plenty of cardio. Go take a rest. Have a great rest of the day, y'all.